Hello friends, this video on transport in plants and animals part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we have spoken a lot about human heart. So everywhere we were seeing that okay, heart plays a very important role. So let us learn more about the human heart in detail. Now when we talk about the human circulatory system, the main pump or the main controller of the blood flow is nothing but the heart. So heart is the muscular pumping organ. It is muscular that is made up of muscles. So these muscles are capable of contracting and relaxing and due to these movements, the contraction and relaxation of the heart, it can actually cause the flow of blood. It can pump blood to different body parts. It is located in the thoracic cavity between the lungs. So if you see this is the thoracic cavity and you have two lungs, the right and the left lung like this one and two. So in between them, heart is present and it is slightly inclined towards the left side. Tilted towards left and the size of the heart is almost the size of the human feast. So if you actually fold all the fingers of your hand so the feast that is formed that is the size of your heart so it's not that huge it's quite small weight of the heart is around 300 grams not too heavy as well so that, that's all but you see the job which it does is so crit critical so if the heart stops pumping blood what will happen blood will not flow throughout the body therefore the cells will not get oxygen so respiration will not be able to take place so as a result the organisms will not survive so proper functioning of the heart is very very important the heart beats around one lakh times a day so why does the heart beat again the heart is also made up of muscles now whenever these muscles expand or contract so that expansion and contraction is felt as a vibration from outside and that is what is felt as heartbeat like the way we feel the pulse beat that is nothing but the uh, contraction and expansion of the arteries when blood flows through it. So similarly here also the muscles of the heart, their movement is felt as heartbeat. So heart is made up of cardiac muscles. So the type of muscles, now there are three types of muscles. One is you know, voluntary muscles, involuntary muscles and cardiac muscles. So these cardiac muscles, so the voluntary muscles, they, their movements are under our control. So they are also called skeletal muscles. Similarly, you have smooth muscles and this is the third one, cardiac muscles. And these muscles are present in the heart. So that's why the name cardiac muscles. So let us look at the structure of the heart. Now by now I have already given a brief introduction to the structure of human heart. But still let us look at it in more detail. So if you look at the structure of the heart, it is well protected by a two layered membrane, which is called pericardium. So here you can see this membrane. So the outside boundary of the heart is covered by this membrane, which is called pericardium. The word cardio is related to heart. That is why a doctor who has specialization in heart is called cardiologist. So the cycle of the heart is called cardiac cycle. So similarly, the membrane which surrounds the heart is called pericardium. The heart is also divided into four chambers, two auricles and two ventricles. As I have mentioned before also, that auricles are the receiving chambers and you can remember this using this AIR. Auricles are receiving chambers and ventricles are pumping chambers, VIP. So as you can see in this picture, this is the right auricle, this is the left auricle, this is the right ventricle and this is the left ventricle. Now how are the auricles and the ventricles separated from each other? So we have a, a separation or a partition called coronary sulcus and what is coronary sulcus? It separates the auricles from ventricles. So you see the auricles are present on the top side and the ventricles are present on the bottom side. So this partition between auricles and ventricles is called coronary sulcus. So this is a partition between auricles and ventricles. So particles between A and V. A is auricles and V is ventricle. 
Again, the two auricles, that is right auricle and left auricle, they are separated by this partition called interauricular septum. Similarly, there is a partition between the right and the left ventricles that is called interventricular septum. So, this is interventricular septum. And here between these two auricles, you will have the interauricular septum. So this is how due to the presence of all these partitions, the interauricular, interventricular and coronary sulcus, due to their presence, the heart has been divided into four distinct chambers. That is right auricle, left auricle, right ventricle and left ventricle. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.